As Christians, should we celebrate Halloween? I think the, the question should really be, as Christians, should we fear the devil and fear the demons? But doesn't it give, you know, the power to the enemy if we, if we, you know, celebrate these holidays that were used for child sacrifice and all that? Well, um, does it give power to the enemy when we light candles? Does it give power to the enemy when candles are lit, when they're, when we're praying? Because there's Christians that fear that as well. Because, quote unquote, these witches and warlocks light candles when they, when they pray under the seances. So there's some Christians that say, oh, make sure you don't light candles when you pray. The question is really as silly as that. See, either Jesus stripped the enemy, disarmed him, and paraded him through the streets, or the word's a lie. Either you are the only being created in the image of likeness of God, as powerful as him, or the word's a lie. Either you are in second command over all of creation underneath God, and all angels and beings and everything else that's created is under you, or the word's a lie. The devil is nothing more than an angel, a fallen angel at that. You're created above the angels. The word says, don't you know that you shall judge angels? Don't you know that you judge the devil? So this little holiday as Halloween that people use to have fun, to go trick or treating with their kids and have a freaking blast. And you're going to fear the enemy is going to have some kind of power over you of that? That is silly. Question all these religious teachings. Question all these silly things that pastors and these teachers tell you. Because they're ridiculous. You are created in the image and likeness of God. The, un the only being created in that image and likeness. The only being that has been made one with God. You're more powerful than the angels. You're more powerful than the demons. Everything is subject to you. Because who's your father? Who's your daddy? And what does he do? God's your father. And you're one with God. Remember that.